Hey, good evening, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. As you can see, there's still lots of parking at the beach. Not many people out here, but I figured, what the heck? I'm gonna come out here and check out our sunset, see what it's like. We had some storms move through earlier. Now they're all offshore, it looks like. Really, really good news is right now, we have a very, very strong offshore breeze. And what that means is it blows the red tide even further away from us. And look at all the dragonflies flying around. You're gonna have to, you have to look close, but you'll see them. Can you see the little black specks flying around? That's what eats all our mosquitoes. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's thousands of them out here. That is so cool. And the beautiful sea oats. It's almost a repeat of last night. Beautiful out here. Some thunderstorms out in the Gulf. And a really nice sight to behold. People swimming in the water out here. Absolutely gorgeous right now. Not the same story up to the north of us, up in Lee County, but knock on wood. Let's hope that red tide keeps moving further and further away. I love coming out here and looking at those storms out in the Gulf. I cannot stay away from the beach. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> I think I've got salt water in my veins. We do have a lot of seagrass, a lot of seaweed right here. I'm up in area four. You can see some of the seagrass out in the water there, the dead seagrass. But right now the wind is blowing from behind me out into the Gulf, and that's what we want. And it's a pretty good offshore breeze tonight. It's taking all the stench of the dead fish and whatnot and blowing it out into the Gulf. And hopefully it's blowing that red tide out there. Just further and further away. Kind of a sad beach walk this morning, seeing those dead little sea turtles and gosh darn raccoons got into. But you know, there hasn't been any people at the beach here for several weeks. So there's no garbage in the trash cans and the raccoons are starving and they're getting desperate. So now they're digging into the sea turtle nest and that's so sad, but you know, it's survival of the fittest. Beautiful out here. I don't know if you saw my post earlier. Wonderful, wonderful news about Roy. He was moved out of the intensive care unit. He's been put into a regular room now. Hallelujah. Now, I haven't talked to his nurse or doctor, but according to him, the, the poisonous toxins from that flesh-eating bacteria that was in his system is not in his blood anymore. He is still dealing with some serious infections on his legs, and they're gonna keep him in the hospital to monitor that, monitor that and knock it down. But he is 100% better than he was last Thursday when he went in there. He's so happy to be in a, out of ICU. God bless him, he was so happy when I saw him today. So please keep Roy in your prayers. Isn't that beautiful? The storm clouds out there. There's lightning flashing out there too. Some cloud to water, water to cloud, lightning. It's 
some pretty nice colors out there right now. I want to get out on that little sandbar over there that I always walk out on. I always find myself, this is one of my favorite spots here, Area 4. It's just, the beach has some really interesting shapes. There's more beach here now, especially here at low tide. With this sandbar, it's big spit now sticking out. And of course, it's where our friend Roy always hangs out. Absolutely gorgeous out here. sandbar looks pretty clean. I don't see any shells out there on that sandbar. This is where we'll, we usually see all the birds sitting out here in the morning. Did you watch this morning's beach walk? We saw our dolphins back this morning. The dolphins have returned. Hallelujah. We got to see them. They're pretty far offshore, but we got a glimpse of them in this morning's beach walk. Our park rangers missed a couple piles of dead fish here on the beach. I don't know why they haven't came and scooped them up yet. They are getting really stinky. Other than that, there's about five piles here, six piles of dead fish along the beach that they raked up and for some reason didn't pick them up. Forgot to pick them up. But they did a great job cleaning this place up. They don't have any big fancy equipment like the city or the county does down here. All done by hand. We had some great volunteers helping out too. I want to thank them. Not just the park rangers, they're all great. Great people. There's one of them over there buzzing around on their four-wheeler. great people out here. They take their job serious. You know, if you, the park rangers tell you to stop doing something, pay attention to the lesson and stop doing it. Please respect our park rangers here. Respect our park. But look, at here's the big story tonight. Look at that beautiful sky with this rain clouds so interesting look at that we're getting they call them Jesus rays look at this out here Let's see if I can get a shot of them God rays look at that isn't that not beautiful where the Sun's coming down through the clouds I'm weird. I think the thunderstorms just make it that more interesting out here. What do you think? Here's where Roy would be sitting if you close your eyes and use your imagination. Can you hear him playing his harmonica here? Area 4 right here where we're at. You know, I don't blame people for being leery, skeptical about coming out to the beach. Personally, I don't mind it. I like it when the, I have the beach to myself. But you really need to come out and check things out. The tide has changed, literally. still have a chance of that red tide coming back. Always a possibility. But 
thankfully we don't have to deal with that toxic blue green algae they're dealing with up in Fort Myers. Oh, places north of that, Sarasota. Oh. There's still signs from the red tide. horseshoe crab washed up on the beach right here. A poor little horseshoe crab. You know what? I don't know if that's a dead horseshoe crab, but it looks like it, it's a shed shell good chance that's just the exoskeleton they actually shed their entire shell their legs everything wouldn't that be cool down here right next to it a beautiful little scallop shell love those scallops that we find on the beach let's check out that sunset that's what we're out here for Beautiful out there. There's some really, really gorgeous patterns out there right now in the sky. Absolutely beautiful out there. The sun's going to be coming down probably right over in here. Got the big thunderstorms out there. Look at that sky. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Hit that share button. Let's get some more friends out here watching. Let's get some friends to join in. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida television. Share the good news. Our beach is returning to normal. Look at this over here. These clouds are starting to pick up some reds up here. Are we gonna, is the sky gonna catch on fire tonight? Wouldn't that be awesome? If we look down to the south. Big cumulus clouds, rain clouds down there. Absolutely beautiful out here. You know, I actually started coming out here for sunset before I started doing my beach walks. That's how I started coming out here. Then I decided one morning, what the heck, go out and walk the beach. I didn't say anything. I just walked up and down the beach with my camera and people started watching. I didn't have anything to talk about. I didn't know anything about the shells or anything. And I started picking stuff up and our friend Barbara Grove, the shell lady, she helped me tremendously learn about seashells. So I took a poke at sharing what I was learning with everybody watching and look at that, now we got 20 something thousand people following. Just amazing. This is really, I always say, all I'm doing is providing a platform for everybody watching to get to know each other. I'm just providing a background here. I really encourage everybody to introduce themselves, let everybody know where they're watching from. There's been some incredible friendships made through this Southwest Florida Television Facebook page. It seems like everybody that watches my videos has adopted Roy as a grandfather, a father, a mentor. It's just amazing. The power of social media.
just joining. Awesome, incredible news about Roy. He was moved out of ICU today. Hallelujah. He is in a regular room now. That is incredible, awesome news. He is on the road to recovery. Still not out of the woods. He's got a nasty infection on his legs, but hopefully they're gonna take care of that. More good news is the water is beautiful out here. Not just the sky, the water is beautiful. Right now we've got a nice strong or offshore breeze that's coming from behind my back and pushing everything out into the gulf, that dirty red tide. Push it away, get it out of here. Look at those clouds. What an amazing sight. Just bear with me for one minute. Please don't go away, I'll be right back. I hope I didn't lose too many people there. I apologize for that, but I just wanted to get a little separate video of the colors of the sky there. But we are getting some beautiful God rays here right now. You see them happening there? See the rays shooting up? Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, the rain. Look at those clouds. How impressive. So thankful to be able to come out here and enjoy this. What a spectacular view. Absolutely spectacular out there this evening. If you love our friend Roy, if you really care about our friend Roy right now, this would be a great time to say a little prayer for him. I'm just going to be quiet. If you know our friend Roy and if you believe in God or something, a great creator, now's a great time to say a little prayer for him with this beautiful background. God bless you, Roy. We know he's watching over you. He's got a special plan for you, Roy. Amen.
Look at that one cloud there. It's like almost like it's lit from behind. Isn't that cool? All the little birds flying by. Let me tell you something, folks. Your prayers are working, that's for sure. Your prayers for Roy are definitely working. Keep them up. I'm going to go all the way around here. Now we're looking behind me. We're, we're looking to the east. It's beautiful. See how the, the eastern sky lights up? People always forget. Turn around when you're out at the beach. Sometimes it's more spectacular behind us towards the east at sunset. Sometimes we're surrounded in a big dome of beauty at sunset. Just an, amazing the sunsets in southwest Florida. You never know what you're going to get. Everyone's unique. right here is a beauty Whew. an absolute beauty right here look at that sky holy mackerel <laughs> Isn't that storm incredible out there that's what I think makes it so interesting these rain clouds out there There you go, loving the hearts. I hope Jennifer Ann's, I, I don't think she's off work yet. It'd be so neat if she was there and able to share this with Roy live so he could see all these hearts. Wouldn't that be fun? That would make his night. Look at the tops of those clouds down there. How the sun's just hitting them as it's setting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. hard to believe that people live here and don't come out and take advantage of this beautiful sight. Isn't it? It's amazing. The wonders of nature. Well, the sun is just getting ready to drop down from behind the cloud there. Right in the center of the screen is our little fireball this evening. A 
Wow, what a sight. What a sight, what a sight. Get you back here, sorry about that. Just trying to zoom in, the camera, there it goes. Let me zoom in there. There's the sun just coming down from behind the clouds. Remember, you can watch this video a little later. It'll be reposted on Facebook and on YouTube. Be sure, if you're curious about Roy, check my previous post. Beautiful colors out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Not far away from sunset now. Just a matter of minutes. That sun is just touching the water on the horizon now. There she goes. Beautiful setting sun. Will we see a green flash tonight? Watch really, really closely. Just moments away from sunset. I'm going to try to zoom in a little closer. Hang on. The phone is not allowing me to zoom in. I don't know what's wrong with the screen. Watch for the green flash. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen in about three seconds. One, two, three. No green flash tonight. 
Oh well. Still beautiful. Still absolutely gorgeous. Can't help but saying it, folks. What would, come on. What would Roy say about this site right now? How would he describe this? Somebody needs to post it. There's one word that Roy always uses. What is that word? Come on. What is that word Roy would use to describe this? You know it. Ooh, you got a bad connection here. That's not good. I'm waiting here. Come on, we know that word. It's glorious. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> Beautiful ending to a beautiful Monday, huh? We started out on the beach and we ended on the beach today. How nice is that? I love sharing this place with my friends. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And if you do, tell your friends about it, please what it's all about. It's about sharing. Isn't life about sharing? The more you give, the more you get. You ever heard that? Look at all the little birds flying by out there. Look at that. Wow. Look at the birds. Wow. Back and forth. It's getting pretty dark out here. The Rangers are going to be kicking us out of here in a few minutes. They won't kick me out of here. Come on, what are you, crazy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. They'll kick everybody else out. They're all little sandpipers over here. I don't know if you can see them on the sandbar, little silhouettes. All the little birds running around. They're all little sandpipers. Beautiful. Look at that sky. Man. It's just getting more, it's just getting every five minutes. It's a whole different painting. Absolutely incredible. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to be right back. Hang tight. I'm so sorry. I know that was really mean of me. I just hogged a minute of that beauty, two minutes of that beauty all to myself. But there we go. Another beautiful ending to a glorious day here in Southwest Florida. Look at the colors up to the north. The Rangers are having a hard time getting people out of here. It's so beautiful. And just, we haven't been able to enjoy the beach for a while either, so come on. Well, there's the image I want to leave you with this evening. And again, keep our friend Roy in your prayers. Again, he's out of ICU. Great news. Still, still dealing with a wicked infection in his legs. But the toxins from that flesh-eating bacteria, the antibiotics, have knocked that out of his system. So your prayers are working. So keep them coming. 
Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Check out all of my photos and videos. Remember, no crazy political comments. Leave those to me. <laughs> I've had to kick a lot of people off of Southwest Florida Television over the past couple weeks. But hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed it. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.